Boom! Coming in hot on a Friday, Chinch. How we doing, brother? Uh, I love hearing you say on a Friday, Chinch. That's my favorite. <laughs> my favorite boom coming in hot of the week. How's it going? <laughs> love it, man. Good, dude. I got I got a little bit of a dilemma I want to throw out there for you. Oh, I like this. So, dude, I'm 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 heading to. The, I took out a second mortgage on my house to take my d- one daughter to the Taylor oh, Swift that's concert. Right, tonight. you're going tonight, okay. uh, oh, bro. And oh, they, okay. dude, they're talking about seventy to ninety thousand. So seventy thousand tickets. Oh. Are sold. They're saying ninety thousand people will be down there. Probably a hundred thousand because the people. I think people in the parking lot. Stuff. They're saying from three thirty to like, it, the gates open at four. The opening act goes on at six thirty. Taylor Swift goes on at eight. But they're saying from three thirty to like seven is going to be the most epic traffic Pittsburgh's ever seen. Holy shambles! So I guess the question is. Okay, there's also a T. You can take the tr- t- the transit down like a little train. Okay, but I, you know, I think I think that gets a little dicey at some point too. Like right. so, so the question Oof. is, do I leave at two thirty and get down there a little early? You know, what I mean, maybe hang out in the parking lot with my daughter. Yeah, obviously not tailgate because she's thirteen. Uh-huh. But you know, just and then go in when it opens at four and wait till. <laughs> you oh know, what my mean? Dude, goodness. Or do I? take the t late i have a parking pass too so i have a parking pass okay that's important that's but huge it's, but it's getting to this parking pass area you make one right. wrong turn right you got 30 minutes to wrap around the ballpark before you even see where you got to go well that's what i that's what i got that's what i think i got to do i think i got to leave at 2 30 why don't down you there like at three. Uh, pack huh? up pack up some bag of lunches like in uh, billy madison yeah. bring, bring <laughs> food and you can the way here's the one thing you got going for you like, the fan base you're walking in there with, it's like, you know, a lot of dads and moms and, and, yeah. and kids, right? So it's not no, like yeah, it's, it's not like you're going to, like, oh, we're going to – Red Hot Chili Peppers are playing, and you got yeah. your 12-year-old, and you got to elbow some, you know, mosh pickets. Like Kenny, Kenny Chesney, where there's, like, just a million drunk people. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some of those there. But yeah, the other thing is, this is a high-end ticket, man. Bro. You, you might have a lot of people – Ubering and like you said, public type transportation limos and stuff. Like this is probably like a birthday present for private. No, 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 bro. Huh? Listen to this one. So I called a buddy of mine who's a ticket broker. Mm-hmm. Great dude. And I'm like, bro, do you have any Taylor Swift tickets? <laughs> I mean, I go, I'm on StubHub. And this is where StubHub gets you. This is what drives you crazy. All the fees. Man. Ticket will save 500. But then you go to check out and it's nine hundred with the fees and mm-hmm. StubHub's fees and the freaking yeah. parking fees and this guy's Broke fees range. and Joe Biden wants a fee. Everyone wants a fee. You know what I mean? Everyone's got a fee. <laughs> Trump wants a fee just because he was Trump. It's like where are all these fees coming from? It's incredible. So I called this guy and the dude straight up said, This is the ticket price. You know, no fee. So bam, I got the well, dude, it's in a box. Oh. Which is now that I see the mayhem that's happening. That's yeah, you're just- is incredible yes good save. right incredible so and he gave me a parking pass which is even better fantastic right which is even better yes so you know the, being in the box is, is and so what I, what I was saying was he said it, the other 10 people in the box are flying a private jet in oh no way from like west virginia somewhere no way. and it's their like company with their daughters and so it's me, me and jillian with 10 people that are flying in from a private jet wow dude <laughs> wow make sure your phone's charged man you gotta take videos i, gotta, I can't wait to see i am this. dude i am you'll, you'll i'll post some stuff tonight oh man that's so great i cannot wait for this for you i'm glad i'm not doing it but I'm, i can't wait for this for you <laughs> so 2 30 this is when you think you're gonna make the move yeah yeah two, i think 2 30 i'm gonna make the move yeah i i i, I was gonna make it at 4 30 and then it turns out that they said that would be the dumbest thing i could ever do so i'm like oh. All right, I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna wow. do it. pull the trigger at two thirty. Oh man, good luck! Holy strong bully! Wow, yeah, I got my shirt, got my Taylor Swift shirt where it says, "It's me." Hi, <laughs> I'm the dad. It's me. Oh no way! <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Is she gonna be all swifted out? She must oh yeah, have an outfit for oh yeah, she's five ready to be swift. Or... Yeah, she's all swifted out. Nice. We've, we've gone through three different outfits already. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> this is a big dad moment for you. You get bonus points big, for this. Big dad moment, dude. Big your, dad. Your other kids are probably like, all right, dad, uh, I could use a uh, Mazda Miata for the price you made for these tickets <laughs> okay. if you want to start shoot, shooting out more gifts for the family. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's talk about we cannot stop. I will not stop. I refuse to stop talking about Shohei Otani. 
Yep. Greatest player in the history of baseball, maybe. At one point. Dude, how, how can we not talk about him when what he's doing is just at another level? We've never seen him before, but now I think we were talking yesterday about the WBC, his confidence at another level. Mm -hmm. He went deep again last night, dude. Mm -hmm. He's now the home run league leader in the big leagues with 22, time with Pete Alonso, 22 bombs. He's, got, he's hitting 301. Amazing. So he's top five or 10 or whatever that, top, you know, somewhere like that. Top 11 in all of baseball, top 10 at least, maybe top yeah. five in the American. And then, yeah, and then he's got 54 stakes, which is second, right? 54 RBIs, I believe it's 54 second. 54 RBIs is, actually, it's third. So somebody has 56, two guys have 55. In the, in the AL? In the, in the AL, AL, he is tied for, he is, he is a sole possession of second behind two guys have one over. Okay, so yeah, so, so we're yes. talking about triple. So we're thinking about, you know, we're really talking triple crown numbers, <clears throat> which is incredible. Yeah. So that's just on the hitting side, dude. <laughs> we're just yes. talking, we're talking, and he's got ten stolen bases. So we're talking triple right. crown numbers, right? On the on the on the uh, batting side. side. So then let's flip it and go. What is what is he doing as a pitcher? As a pitcher, dude, he's got he's six and two mm -hmm. with a three two nine ERA. He's he's pitched eighty two innings. He's got a hundred. He's punched one hundred and five tickets, dude. It's unbelievable. Now, right now, if he never th pitched a baseball, he would arguably still be in first in your rankings of MVP candidates. Oh, there's no doubt. Yeah, if and he didn't throw one starting inning. pitcher too. <laughs> Seriously, he's like the he's like the ten year old kid who was the best athlete in in school who played baseball. That's, yeah, that's what it was. He pitches. He goes to play short. Then you know he comes into clothes when he's not starting. Like that's that's what you could do. You could do any. I bet he could play shortstop. By the way, I bet he could. I bet he could. Dude, play I bet you could play. I bet you could play NFL quarterback. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm not kidding you. I think Shohei Otani is the one guy <laughs> in the world that can play NFL quarterback right now. That's a good point, dude. That's the Seriously. other thing. He, the, he's, he's got. He, he also he also could be one of the best NBA three point shooters. <laughs> Yes, you're right. Seriously, I'm thinking, like, dude, this is like yes. Bo knows stuff. That's right. It's like Shohei knows. Shohei knows. Oh, Shohei see? knows three pointers. Shohei knows <laughs> uh, touchdowns. I Shohei know. knows downhill skiing. Shohei knows cereal. The Otani's, which we were gonna. The Otani's. Why the chinch? Why are we not? We <laughs> hey, it's, just saying. I think it's time. We want to retire. We haven't made a dollar on the show yet. If we, we want to retire, <laughs> we start making the old That'd be so great. So how do you quantify this? And, and by the way, his team is hanging in there. Too. Dude, they're 39 and 32. Mm -hmm. They're 39 and 30. He solely won the game last night, dude. He he went six innings, two runs, two Ernie's. Mm -hmm. It's great. Only had three punchies. So that that's that's a little weird. Mm -hmm. Um, but then but dude, he went he went um one for two with a with a humongous home run with two walks, mm -hmm. scored a run. I mean. It's pretty amazing. Like, we started talking about this yesterday. The fact that he can continue to do this is a story in and of itself. But then the storylines in baseball right now, as deep as we're into a season, are I don't think are going to go away. Like, I do think the Pittsburgh Pirates are not going away. I do think the Baltimore Orioles are, are not going away. Usually by this time of the year, the teams that aren't no normally at the top of your standings boards – they are starting to make their slide back to kind of like the the medium, you know, the average. Because like like you said, you always say you you are what the back of your baseball card yeah, is, right? Best baseball card never lies. Now these rosters are better than what they were years ago. And by the way, here's another guy we're not talking of about. You are you you've been on them all. The the, the catcher for the Baltimore Orioles is you're right. I think in all aspects, the next Buster Posey. Uh, dude, he's the real deal. <clears throat> Go look at the numbers. When when Adley Rushman came up last year, everything mm -hmm. changed. Yeah, and it's it, you know, like you said, it's like that's that Buster Posey effect. This is that kind of guy. He's a switch hitter. Uh -huh. He's hitting two eighty two. He's calling eight twenty three OPS. But more importantly, you know, I think at the end of the day, he handles that staff better than anybody. He's a leader. He's got nine bombs. You know, you, this guy is yeah. is a game changer. And it, yeah. you know, it's funny. Because I think we mentioned this uh, at one point. Um, you know, you go back to that draft. I think it was 2019, 2020, something like that. Mm -hmm. I, it was uh, Adley Rushman went one and Bobby Witt Jr. went two. And everyone was like, man, I don't know about that. You know, Bobby Witt Jr. is, 
you know, going to be a future shortstop, you know, uh, just a franchise guy. And then, uh, you know, it turns out I think the Orioles had it right as far as they're both premier players. But right. Adley Rushman being a catcher. It's more an impact on your game. Yeah, yeah, there's something about his humility and the kind of guy he is. We've done a, a couple interviews with him, MLB Network, and this guy, there's something about his presence that is, uh, you know, very humbling and very – but but also very uh, you know he's he's a leader. You can see that the guys respect him. So you're right, man. Yeah. This guy is the real deal, and he's the biggest reason that the Orioles are right. where they're at. Also, no way they they got 42 wins, dude. They're 43. They got 43 they're 43 wins. and 25. They are legit. They are legit. And back to him again. His batting average right now is 30 points higher than it was last year. He's hitting 282. Talk about how. Think about the mental game. Like you can go out into the field and kind of. You're not taking your head off every pitch, but you can kind of relax a little bit when you get into the field as a position player. <clears throat> there is no relaxing when you're the catcher of a team. So hitting 282 right now is there's something to be said for that, right? Or am I BSing here? No, big time, man, big time. To be, be a, listen to be that good offensively. You know, there's so much. I think the biggest thing that that, that we feel as players and also fans when you watch a game or or you know anybody that understands the game is that. There's so much demand at the catcher position. That's why I don't think we've ever really, you know, we've never really think thought it was an offensive position. For years, we always thought catcher and shortstop, you just have the guys that can pick it. But, you know, nowadays, you know, they you want your catcher to, you know, to be able to hit, swing it a little bit, like like basically like Posey did. Adley Rushman is that kind of guy, man. He can beat you on both sides of the ball. He makes that staff better, and he also can beat you uh, offensively at, at any point. So, yeah, man, this guy is special. Yep, his last series, 6 for 14, two doubles and a dinger. Yeah. That's pretty good. Big All right, time. who else you got out there before we got to get you to a Swift concert today at some point? Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, how about um, how about the Dodgers last night? Freddie Freeman with a huge walk-off, mm -hmm. um, huge walk-off win for the Dodgers. They've just been okay. They're 39 and 30. Mm -hmm. You know, right now, obviously, I don't panic with them because they're really good top to bottom. Yeah. You know, but you, I think when you look at the standings, you don't expect to see Arizona two games up on the Dodgers at this point of the season. Mm -mm. Um, and, and Arizona's lost three in a row. And the and the Giants are right there, too, dude. The Giants yeah. are 36 and 32. They're playing some good baseball. It's San Diego is the team that we all thought was going to be there. They're 33 and 35. So yeah. um, the Dodgers... Listen, that was a big win last night. And and on another note too, let's let's uh let's look at Freddie Freeman, man, and what he's been doing this season cuz it's yes. incredible. Yep. You know, I think sometimes he gets overlooked, but he's hitting 328 with 13 yeah. big flies, 45 stakes. He's got nine bags, which is impressive. He's got a 975 OPS. Uh, you know, this guy's one of the best players in the game. And, and you yeah. know, we, when we talked about Trey Turner and leaving the Dodgers, you know, you were thinking of that star power of Betts and Freeman and, uh, and, 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 and Turner at the top of that lineup. I'll tell you what, Freeman is a true superstar, brother. Yes. True superstar. When you're talking to sitting in a 975 OPS, hitting almost 330 this, this far into the game, that's a great pickup for the Dodgers. I think what happens is when you're that consistent, it kind of makes it, it – you, you can wind up being underrated because it's just like, it's like, oh, yeah, Freddie Freeman. Oh, yeah, Freddie Freeman. But it's not like – He's just done the same thing every year, year in and year out. Look at this. Right now, as of today, in 14 years, as of this moment, he's got a career 300 batting average. Dude. I think he, he I, I think he's, he's hit, by the way, he's in 328 this year at 33 yeah. years old. Now, well, he, he, his swing doesn't slump, right? It no, really doesn't. No. That swing is got, dude, I remember when my last, going into my last year in Boston at 301, my batting average was like, First year, I'm like coming off the bench, and I'm like the league average coming off the bench. I think it's like 220. I'm like, if I hit 220, and my career batting average is 299 at the end of this year, coming off the bench with the Red Sox, like I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs> and dude, yeah. I, 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 I honestly like getting my, you know, I hit 322 that year to get it to 302. And the only reason I say that is because. I'm so glad, dude, that when I look back at my career, like that, I ended with as a career 300 hitter. It's so much better than saying 298, 299. Oh, it's yeah, I, dude, I, I think I think for guys that are that close, that bothers you. I would say so. It's like uh, getting the iPhone 11 when you the iPhone 12 just came out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you're yeah, sitting you're there like, looking oh, like, oh man, man. the it's camera was so much better. <laughs> <laughs> how about this? How about this number? You talk about getting what a superstar does for you and just leading by example. His last three seasons, I'm including this year so far in 69 games, led the league in plate appearances 
every year. So last year he hit 325 case with wow. 708 plate appearances. That's like almost an extra quarter of a season to most guys. That's straight raking, dude. 700 plate appearances. That's yes. amazing. Also this year, first of all, last year he led the league in doubles with 47. That's a pretty good number. Right. He's already got 24 this year, which leads Major League Baseball. Dude, doubles are power, bro. Doubles are power. That's why he's got a, almost a career 900 OPS because he's a doubles machine. Don't you often find that you, when you hit a double square, sometimes it's it feels it, you probably took a better swing than on some home runs you've hit? Well, because a lot of times I remember a lot of my doubles are on a line off the wall. Boom, boom. Like, you know, you're, 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 you know, your covering ball is bam, and it's shooting the gap, and it's splitting those defenders. You know, yeah. it, it when you hit doubles, man, you gotta you gotta backspin it into that gap because those guys are fast out there. You gotta yeah. you gotta put a charge into one to get in that Good gap. Good point. Good point. All right, yeah. so we're rooting for him. All right, we got a lot going on here, man. Yeah. All right. This what do you got going on this weekend, Chinch? Uh, chilling. Well, oh, Sunday's Father's Day, so Big Al oh, yeah. is coming over nice. here. Oh yeah, Big Al, you taking him out? Nah, I'll take him around to my backyard. You can go sit by the pool if you'd like. It's very welcoming. Go, go. Oh, dude, hey, I just Al, got a griddle. Have a truly and take your legs, sit, put your <laughs> legs up. Did I tell you, dude, we got a griddle? Jess's mom got it for us for, like, Jess's birthday. The Blackstone, dude, Blackstone. I saw that. Dude. I have one. You I have, have one. one. They're incredible. Life-changing. They're incredible. They're incre dude, dude, make sure. I, I'm, I've had one for, like, three Season years it now. and cover it. You gotta clean every time you do yeah. it. Oh, you yeah. gotta like almost like you're like the hibachi grill when the guy right. comes out, he starts like cleaning it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta do it every time, dude. If you don't, it'll rust. No, yeah, I know. The best the best I, thing is that Jess Jess cooks out of a, a uh, what are those stone heavy stone pans all the time? Shoot. Cast iron. Cast iron. So Jess cooks does a lot of her cooking out of cast iron. So dude. it's the same concept. So she and she and you know Jess is the most Fuck, organized, yeah. clean person in the world. The thing is immaculate. Like well, ten dude, minutes while business. I'm eating, I'm eating a burger, and she's like. I'm like, keep going on. You got this. Anyway, so I'm <laughs> doing that. Good, dude. A lot of smash burgers. This well, thank God me. Jess is in your life, dude, because she's going to keep that Blackstone freaking <laughs> ripping. Know. Yeah. Oh, okay. you got to oil it, dude. Yeah. That's all I was going to say. Last thing, oil, make sure you put oil on it at the end. Yeah, one she other knows. thing I'm going to do this weekend is shave because I'm starting to look like an, 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 an no offense to Amish people, but I'm not one. I'm starting to look like that over here. Dude. Yeah, you got a little it's bit of white. Yeah. Yeah. No, you look good, dude. You look good. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> anyway, all right, brother. Enjoy right. the concert. Send me videos tonight. I can't Let's wait. Let's go, baby. Good luck. It's me. Hi, I'm the dad. It's me. <laughs> hey. All right, brother. Love right. you, man. Love you, bro. Have a great weekend. Everyone out there, thanks for listening. We appreciate it. We'll see you Monday.